everyone, and welcome to a monthly vlog. We've got some spiders in here, some ladybugs. Oh. It has just been endlessly raining, but I'm back in Sydney. Fingers crossed we can get the shoot done, not in the pouring rain. This is something new I want to try just for fun. I've always been into vlogs, but I feel like weekly is a bit too much. It's going to cut into my photo video editing time. But monthly, I feel like is the right amount. Today, I'm all dressed up because Dan and I are out taking photos. So we came to a sunflower field. Look how beautiful this is. That was just, um, I was crouching down here to get a few shots because it looks like I'm surrounded by the sunflowers. They're so beautiful. I'm also a little bit distracted because there is a wheat field right across from me, so I think Dan and I are going to get some shots there right now. I'll show you my camera setup, by the way. Here's Dan. What are you shooting on? S52X. Nice. So I'm shooting on the Lumix S52 today, and I've got the 50mm on. I had my 35mm on before, but today we're shooting some content of the LUTs that I have with Lumix. So here they are. I have Sage, Botanic, Highland, Waddle, and seaside they're so pretty look at these fields and there's like little weeds slash flowers but they look so cool so we're gonna get some video shots Dan's gonna get some video with my LUTs and then we're gonna get some photos as well because we're creating a bit of content to just let you guys know about the LUTs that I created for Lumix but I just wanted to share because yeah I'm really excited I worked really hard on these colors and it's been really fun like using them out on location so now we're gonna walk to another spot on the farm we're done with this wheat field this is like the wheat field of my dreams though but we've got sunflower bushes. It was like a nice little patch, but it was a bit too bright before. So now it's a bit more cloudy. And also I'm really glad that this farm opened like for sunset time, because usually they're open from midday till three, which we all know that's the worst lighting to shoot with. We're walking over to the next spot. We're going back to the original sunflowers we found, but it was a bit too sunny before. Now it's blue hour. It's also a nice 35 degrees Celsius day. Although it has cooled down a little bit now that the sun's set. By the way, do you like vlogs with bokeh or without bokeh? With. This is no bokeh. Dan votes bokeh. Always bokeh. 1.4. <sighs> yeah, this I'm vlogging on the Osmo Pocket 3, by the way. Not to pit beautiful sunflower fields against each other, but Dan and I went to this other sunflower field, like, what was it, like two years ago? Last year. Last year? It was epic. The sunflowers were like, like taller than us and it was just like as far as the eye could see. Like this is cool, but like you need to work your angles to make it work. <laughs> I feel like we got some good shots. Are you happy? We got it. Also the sky. Oh no, the face tracking. Oh, there we go. That's a weird angle. Look at the sky. <gasps> Should we pick some sunflowers? I think we've got everything we can get, really. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know if we got everything we need, but we got everything we can get. <laughs> <laughs> we got what we can, not what we want. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Deb, you're nice. That sounds so ominous. Oh my god, did I chuck this lens cap on the floor? Oh, you didn't pick it up? I forgot. I didn't. <laughs> Where'd you chuck it? <laughs> oh man, that's one of the nice Lumix ones. We're gonna go back and Those get it. This is the Sony ones, not the Lumix ones. I chucked the lens cap on the floor and then I forgot Wait. about it. Yeah. Whoops. Does anyone else overpack when they're going on a trip, like a little road trip to take photos? I'm embarrassed to show you what I brought. What film is in it? Um, okay, I'll, I'll give you a little bag tour. So I've got this little, this bag from Taz and Tez. It's like a shorter bag. I'm sure you've seen me using it before in my photo shoots. Never seen it before. And I brought film camera number one, because they all have film in it that I need to finish because I really want to develop film. So this one has Ektar 100. This is the next one. It also has Ektar 100. And this one also has Ektar 100. And we didn't shoot a single film picture. We like barely got what we needed. Um, yeah, please tell me I'm not the only one that overpacks my gear for a little road trip. All right. Let's go. We're gonna pick up some nice sunflowers for the home, for the, home, for the house. Like those ones there look really nice. I see a good one. We found our first victim. Thank you. Hopefully it's got some lady babies. Victim number two. <laughs> this one's a lemonade sunflower. Join your stash. I'm sure it can be seen that all the flowers are covered in lady beetles. I think the girls are gonna be pulling them out of the car for the next week. Yeah, I reckon. There's so many. Look, oh, yeah, look, look in there. Wait, wait, here. <gasps> look, there's so many. Oh my God. And we're gonna get one more. So we're gonna have four in total. So these are the flowers we ended up picking. I got four of them in total. Two white and two yellow. We've got some spiders in here, some ladybugs, some moths, some other creatures that I don't know what they are. 
I'm gonna take them all home to the girls. I'm sure they'll be very happy. Good morning. Today we are on our way, Dan and I, to buy a new coffee machine. So yesterday Dan ran out of coffee and at the same time my coffee machine broke. We want to get one machine that we can both use. We're going to a coffee shop and we're gonna see what they have. A coffee shop? A coffee machine shop. Happy Monday. So I would like to know who puts opening hours on their website and on Google Maps and then doesn't actually follow those opening hours. Yesterday we made it to the coffee machine shop and it wasn't open. So Dan and I ended up going out for sushi instead and we are back here again on Monday. I'm wearing the same thing because I wore it for like an hour yesterday. And hopefully it's open today because it says it's open. But I was so disappointed. I was really looking forward to trying it out yesterday. <laughs> Guess what? This is not a coffee machine because we got there, had a look, and I think the problem with going to a proper coffee machine shop is that you see all the beautiful, really expensive machines, and then all of a sudden the one that you were looking at doesn't look that good. <laughs> so we changed our minds and didn't buy it. And yeah, now we're just gonna be on the lookout for a different one. So this I bought in support of someone I know who started a small business. This is a board game of a video game that I have that I really love. You should check it out if you like puzzle games. And now they have the board game version. Say hello. I also had to buy myself a pair of high heels. They're not very high. Can you believe I do not own a pair of high heels? <laughs> I had to go get some because I need to wear them for an event I'm going to on Wednesday, which I will be taking you to. Oh, hey. Hello. Oh, hey. You were so asleep the whole time. I thought you knew that we were here. No, Ollie. Ollie, be nice. I'm gonna go get a coffee machine. Yes. So we finally decided. My desk is a mess. I had a meeting this morning and had to run through a live stream that I'm doing in a few days. So I now need to pack everything away because I need to work on this week's video. I'm actually so thankful that I've pre-edited two other videos that I'm going to be posting this month because this month is kind of crazy. But I'll show you what I'm working on. So here's the set of photos that I'm working on. So this is for my Tamron 70-180 G2 f2.8 review. Um, so I have a few more images left that I need to retouch. And this right here is my retouching tablet. And I personally love using this fatter pen. It also comes with a thinner one, but this one feels so much more comfortable to use. I want to show you a little trick. If you like to use my frequency separation skin retouching Photoshop action, this is what you're going to do. You're going to shift click all the photos that you want to retouch. And then you're going to go over here into tools, Photoshop, batch, and then this little window comes up and you're gonna select the skin retouching action and then press okay. And then all the photos are gonna open up with the action applied to it, so it's just ready to go. It's so much better than opening it one by one. So look, as I click through each of the photos, they all have the action applied and they're just ready to go. We have a coffee machine. We finally decided on which one to get. Yay! <laughs> cool. There we go. It's so pretty. That's so pretty. So I'm in the process of getting my hair done. I'm gonna have like big loose curls, so They've pinned it up at the moment. This is what it's looking like. And look at the view of this hotel. It's so beautiful. <laughs> so I kind of just jumped straight into today without explaining what's going on. But basically, Google, Team Pixel, invited me to the ARIA Awards, which is Australian's musical awards. So it features all Australian artists, which is super exciting. So I had to wake up super early and get into hair and makeup organized by Google. And then we headed over to the awards show. All right, so here I have the final outfit, shoes, dress. Still need to just finish my hair as well. All right, so this is the final, final look. Shoes, hair, makeup, everything done. It's so weird seeing myself in like full glam. I feel like I don't really look like myself, but yeah, happy with how the whole outfit came together. You're pretty much ready to go. Thank you. We're officially on the red carpet on the island. Wait, where did she 
Backstage at the Aries at the moment, and we're gonna be using this super slow mo camera to do like a pose. Yes. This is so nerve wracking because it's just like this huge, brightly lit up scene, and I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I'm back to my normal hair and makeup. This is the face we're all used to. <laughs> Today I am recording some videos. I have three topics I want to do so I'm hoping I can get through all of them but I thought I'd show you our setup because Dan and I kind of did something different here in the office. I'll show you. As usual we have the Sony a7S III on a tripod that is the main camera we use for filming and then this is what I've done. We have drilled into the ceiling these little mounts here so we don't have any tripods on the floor and it's been so much nicer when we're set up for filming that I can actually walk through the office and I've been using these Jiyun lights which have been really good I have a video about them I'll leave that linked in the description if you want to see but they are so tiny so those are the old lights that we used to use so that would be in this spot as well we had three of them and now I've replaced these two with these little lights that's what my office looks like when I'm recording a talking head video and that's where I sit need to clean up the desk <laughs> so I just finished my live stream my first live stream in two years can you believe it and I was gonna vlog before and show you the setup I'm gonna show you the setup now but I was so stressed <laughs> and I was like nah I can't do it I'm like I was just like, I don't know. I don't even know why I'm stressed because then I did the live stream and it was really fun hanging out with you all. So yeah. And you can watch it. I think the live stream will just be up forever. So let me show you my setup. That mostly day and setup. But. So here's my desk. This is everything that I'm looking at while I'm live streaming. Um, so I've got the live chat going on here. Hello. Even though it's finished. But yeah, it was really nice getting to talk to you all. And then I've got my Sony a7S III up there filming me. And then I've got um, like the YouTube live thing here with another chat and that's OBS. And then I've got all these little shortcuts here. Oh, let me turn the camera on. This is what I look at when I'm live streaming. There's so many screens plus the phone just there. Um, yeah, take that all in for a second. <laughs> so we've got like the main screen, which is just me. And then I've got the pixel. And so I can like scroll here on the pixel and then you can see it. So if I tap on photos, it's got like the whole screen. It's so beautiful. But I tried to have this up on the box so like my eyes weren't facing down the whole time, but I'm pretty sure I was just looking down the whole time. And then we have this table back here. We actually stole this from the hallway. Um, we need to make our own version of this table just so it can stay in this room permanently. And then I have a giant soft box there and a den there um, that's lighting up like this whole background. I have my two lights that are lighting my face. Even though I got like really sweaty <laughs> while I was doing that live stream. Back here. Oh, hello. I have an olive who's hanging out. And I have one of these small rig lights. This is what's in the background of the shot. Another small rig light. <laughs> and that wasn't all the screens because there is an extra laptop here that Dan is using to moderate. One, two, right three, there, next four, digital, five, no six, one... seven screens. How do you feel after consuming seven screens? Seven I need screens more. For over an hour. More screens. More. You want to get double? Digits? I can't. My attention cannot. I can't. That's too much. I can't believe that to this day, Jules doesn't use two monitors. The I fact love that a singular you, monitor. The fact that you have managed to stick to a singular monitor is amazing. <laughs> I don't know if you ever see, I've got this nugget always in the background of my videos. Oh, I need to upload my video that I did of that. Oh and now I just have to finish packing. I started packing and then I had to go do the live stream and now I'm going to finish packing because tomorrow we're going on a road trip. I'm so excited. This is a place that I've wanted to go to forever. I have to condense my jewelry collection. Probably just want like simple jewelry for today. So that's before my huge makeup box and this is after. Good morning. Oh, actually it's like midday. <laughs> but we are on the road. We have a five and a half hour road trip. This is our first prepper road trip in our Jimny. I'm so excited. We have it all packed in the back. The only downside is you've calculated, Dan, that we're probably gonna have to stop at 
three times to fill up petrol because that's a really little tank. Is that it? Sometimes I like have all these things that I want to say in my head and then I start recording and my mind just goes blank. I'm also having a little bit of anxiety about the camera situation. I really hope the like the quality is good. I'm scared. Say hi, Dan. <laughs> you like that George Russell meme. <laughs> Did you see that one where he's like sitting in the car and then all of a sudden he just turns around like that? It's cheeseburger meal, no pickle. Tropical drive through. Ooh, chip bag. Bag chip. Bag chip. Chip bag. We stopped for some lunch. I don't remember the last time I had Maccas. I ended up getting a Big Mac, even though I normally get the chicken and cheese, but I wanted something different. This is disgusting. <laughs> Mm, it's not too bad. I remember the chicken and cheeses always used to be so hit and miss. Mostly miss. <laughs> two. Number two. Um, and now it's my turn to drive, which gives me a bit of anxiety because it's a manual car and I'm still learning how to drive manual. She's fine. You need to give me a crash course like every single time I get in the car. So after some screaming and yelling, Josh is driving. <laughs> to go on a roundabout. It's fine when I'm going fast. When I'm on the highway, sick. When I have to go from neutral to first in like a high pressure situation, oh my god, we have to go 80. I want to change you. Yeah, I almost stalled the car at the roundabout of like a very busy intersection. <laughs> she was fine. She didn't nearly stall it. The car sounded so bad, I thought I broke it. I was telling Dan, I want to stop before we get to Waterfall Way because that road sounds really advanced. It kind of start, it sounds like Rainbow Road. I don't want to drive it because it sounds like there's going to be gear changes. <laughs> It's a roundabout, yeah. Alright, go into fourth, go down, second, second. This is good. I did it! Bedroom number three. We don't wait for it to get empty, by the way. We fill it up when it's still like just under halfway. She drinking. Like <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> So I just did my makeup here and I had to set up this little light because it's a little bit dark because it's so like gloomy and foggy outside. These are the lights that I use for photography outdoors and they come in handy for more than just photography. I get to do my makeup too. Welcome to Dorigo National Park. So today we woke up in the mid north coast of New South Wales. So we drove about six hours yesterday to get here. And the reason I'm here is because we are doing a portrait photo shoot with a friend. We're currently staying on our friend's property. It's like this beautiful acreage. There's like a river, a little waterfall. And I have like a video that I'm working on and I wanted to do something like a little bit different and a little bit special. So I asked if she was free and if she was up for doing this concept with me and she is, so I'm really excited. This morning we're gonna go for a little walk around the property and do a bit of a location scout. The weather is also quite rainy and gloomy, so we're kind of playing it by ear over the next two days of when we're actually gonna shoot. I think today's probably gonna be a bit more rainy than tomorrow, so we'll most likely be shooting tomorrow morning, but fingers crossed we can get the shoot done not in the pouring rain. This is with um, Megan, by the way, who we did shoot in the pouring rain for Fujifilm earlier this year. We kind of don't want to repeat that if we don't have to. We are staying at her family's Airbnb. It's absolutely beautiful. So this is the porch, the front, like our fresco area, and then this this is what it looks out to. And the cows were there this morning. It was so foggy when I woke up. It was so beautiful. The cows were just like staring at me. Who are you? <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna show you around. Out here they have a hot tub where you can fire it up with some wood fire. And then here we have the front of the house. If we walk in, sorry, we already put all our stuff in the house, so <laughs> it's a bit messy, but here we have the living room with this beautiful bookshelf and like a little fireplace. 
And then we have the kitchen dining area. And then just in here, they have the bathroom, with like this huge bathtub. It looks amazing. So yeah, that is where we're staying. We're going to be here for the next three nights. So we wanted to have time to location scout for the photo shoot, do the portrait photo shoot, and also have a little bit of time to explore Dorigo National Park as well, because I've wanted to come here for the longest time. So I'm really, really excited we're finally here. Look at all the little tadpoles in the water. Ah, oh, so cute. Look at him go. Look at this giant tree that fell over. That's Megan. This, this stump is like taller than her. Oh my God. That's huge. We're going on another walk. Where are you taking us, Megan? To a big tree. Yay. What's his name? His name is Jack, named after the, one of the owners of this property who saved him, essentially, because there was a lot of logging in the area and he um, protected these trees, so. It's a big brush box. Nice. Yes. I'm excited. I love big trees. <laughs> oh wait, we're going the wrong way. This way. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You can see how tall it is when you look up because the light is hitting the leaves of this tree yeah. and not of any of the others. My hair is drenched, but I just kind of, I dried it a little bit. I got changed as well. And Dan has a little drying station for our cameras here. Look at what's going on here. The We've got Lumix the hair dryer. Held up great. Yay. This is the uh, S5 2X. Your Sigma though. The Sigma is a little bit foggy and water keeps dripping out of both rings. Oh my God. Because this lens, oh yeah, but this lens is not waterproof that's why I, I know but it's still scary like seeing it like that two of them <laughs> just in case it's fully white <gasps> it is so it's gotten oh. into the middle elements if i have to i'll pull it apart i think i've got the tools i'll be able to pull it apart is my 35 foggy as well no your 35 is perfectly fine Jimmy. clear as yay um has been yes oh you can see the water there leaking it show me the front oh my god Here's my pants. Oh, there's a leech on it. No. Look at this one, Dan. Oh, that is not fine. It's not on you, so it's fine. It's disgusting. My shoes are little oh. puddles. Salt some leeches. I've actually never done this before. I want to see what happens. I'm going to put you on a tripod. Science time. I swear, if I get a leech on me, I'll cry. Any little thing that I feel on my arms or legs, I'm like, oh, there's a leech. I'm horrified and yet I'm hungry. <laughs> I just got this skirt from Spill Designs. It's so cute. And I have the matching top as well, but I kind of like it with this t-shirt too. I think it looks cute. You yeah. See it on the elements now. So Dan was shaking out the lens and you could see all this water coming out of it. It's like a fishbowl in there. We're not sure if this is gonna survive. We're gonna light up the fireplace because we need to dry our docks. They are literal ponds, like just soaking wet inside and we need them for tomorrow. So we figured the fireplace is probably going to be the quickest way to dry them. I'm a little bit cold anyway, so. So we're all dried off now. Cameras are back. The lens, maybe not. <laughs> I think that 18 to 35 is done for. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we laugh, but that's actually really sad. Got like a solid six months usage out of that one. Yeah, it wasn't much, was it? No, that was a freshie. <sighs> Trust the one that I've had for like 10 years to be going strong. Mm. I've soaked that one plenty of times. Yeah, I Did guess it comes care. down to how they made it. Because eh? yeah, the other one's been drenched just as bad. Yep. Came out fine. Yep. This one. Was not happy. I noticed the fog rolling in. It looks so pretty. So we thought we'd come out here to the field just to get some portraits. It is slightly raining. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't want to get stuck in the rain again. Well, this time we're not narrow. Eh? Yeah. Oh, I love the little flowers. See a little bit of the flowers there. Fog's kind of gone away, unfortunately. So we're going to walk around to the other paddock where it looked like I was so paranoid about leeches. This whole day, we've just been pulling leeches off ourselves. Honestly, I feel better than ever. I feel like they're actually doing some good work. <laughs> Filtering your blood? Who needs a liver? To be fair, Megan and Dan have been pulling all the leeches off me. I'm too much of a baby to pull them off myself. <laughs> she got that right. <laughs> so creepy. <laughs> So we just finished the photo shoot with Megan and it was incredible, I had such a good time and it's so fun getting to shoot in such a beautiful location. I feel like I could have just kept shooting forever but I was like we should probably wrap it up. <laughs> anyway, we're heading into Dorigo because we only saw it like quickly on the way in. We're going to get a bite to eat and check out some waterfalls as well. Also these vlogs are not going to have any photos. Look how foggy it is. So pretty. It has just been endlessly raining, but I'm back in Sydney and I'm heading towards the Google office because we have a like a YouTube workshop that they invited me to, so I'm excited to check it out. <laughs> I love this raincoat. So I'm going to wrap up my November vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think because I'm about to start filming the December vlog right now as well. But yeah, um, I thought it would be just fun to try this. I'm going to do this for a few months. So you can let me know what you think in the comments. If you like the filming style, if you like the length. Um, yeah, the things that I'm showing you in these vlogs, let me know. But as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I make new videos every single week. So I will see you all next time. Bye.